Hey guys, it's Matt with Jinx Brothers. And here we go again with another box for the Penny Box, or I should say the State Penny Box Challenge. This one comes compliments of the Mint Miser. He sent me a box from Maryland. This is gonna be box number eight. Just to uh, get everybody caught up, we are at uh, 167 spots filled in our books with 114 left to go. I am going to run through the book um, on the recap video uh, for after this box so you can kind of see what we've got, what we're looking for, um, kind of condition. I'm really actually very impressed with where we are um, with the box or with the book so far. Um, the They come in... The condition is amazing, quite frankly. I'm shocked that it has only taken seven uh, boxes to get this many coins in this great a condition. We are missing a bunch of wheats, though. He did pop this before he sent it to me. And as you can see, they are circulated. And they look pretty coppery, too, which is nice. So we'll jump into roll one. And I will come back with my first find. And hopefully... This ends up being a nice box. Thanks again, Mint Miser. I appreciate it. I'll make sure to um, leave his link in the description area below so you can swing by and check him out. He does videos and live streams, and I appreciate him doing this box swap with me. So, again, we'll jump into the rolls, and I'll be back with my first find. Tail end of roll number five will give us our first find, and it's a forward-facing Wheaty, a 1958. Not in too bad a shape. Always nice to see our first wheat. Add to the board, get back to the hunt. And a roll nine, I guess they're all in the end of the rolls. We've got another forward-facing Wheaty. This one's a little older, 1951D. And not quite as nice as the last one, but we'll take it. 250 so far. We're almost 10 rolls in. I'd like to see a little bit more, but we're kind of on pace, so I'm not going to complain. Let's see what we can find. Told you, it's the end of these rolls. End of roll 15. This is going to be our first uh, reverse fading we facing weedy, though. It's looking a little older, too. But it's not. 1956D. Third wheat of the box. <clears throat> We're kind of still right on pace. Nothing too crazy. Nothing too horrible. So we'll just plug away at it. Roll 25. And we've got our first front-sided. You'll see that we just barely got into this roll. It is a wheat facing us. And it's still in the 50s. 1957D. That's only our fourth weedy though. And we are halfway through now. So we have went from being on pace to slightly falling behind. So hopefully we'll pick back up. Roll 29 gives us another front-sided one with a wheat reverse showing. We just cannot get out of the 50s, can we? 1956D. That's our fifth 50s. No 40s yet. Nothing younger. We have uh, picked up uh, 409s, and we've picked up about three that are just stunners that I've got to check against the book. But we just have two rows left. Uh, two rows plus a roll. Ugh. I hope it picks up. Roll 35. Uh, one of the things I wanted to uh, get out there is I had talked about the way that uh, this was packaged in the bubble uh, package. I had to lay these out uh, so I knew which roll I was on. Um, and you'll notice that this last row here, a lot of the wrappers got damaged. So that bubble wrap um, that I talked about to save a little bit of money, 
mm, maybe not the best way to do this. I'm not sure. Uh, it could have just been the way the box got bounced around. Um, but most of that last row did get damaged. I'm not sure. I don't know. I still think I'm going to try it. Uh, and I'll let you know how mine fares. Uh, but wanted to share that. Uh, anyways, uh, rule 35. We had a forward-facing weedy. It's another 50s. 1953D. In decent shape. That's weedy number six. Ugh. I don't know if we're going to make that 10 or not, man, unless this thing warms up a bit. But we'll find out. Roll 39, almost an ender, just one off. And this one's in pretty nice shape too. It was forward facing. 1949S, not quite a blazer, but I will take it. I'm guessing that if it's not a spot filler, it's gonna be an upgrader. What a beauty. Alrighty, let's uh, hope that we can keep this up. Well, looky, looky. Just a couple of coins later, we've got another one. 1956, back to the 50s. This one's certainly not as nice. But that is Weedy 8. So we've got a better chance of getting to our, our 10 now. Back to the tail ends of the rolls. We're to roll 41. We have a date showing a 52D. We will take it. That's Weedy 9. We still got 10 rolls left, so I'm feeling pretty good about being able to make the, the 10 mark. Hopefully, we'll be able to get it a little bit more. Roll 43, and we finally have a wheat facing us versus the date. It doesn't look especially old, but it's older. It's our second 40, 1944. We'll take it. That is Weedy 10. So we have hit our, our goal for the box. The weird thing is, is I have not found a foreign yet. Um, got the 10 wheats, no foreigns. We are up to uh, six of the 09s. So we'll see what these last handful of rolls produce for us. Roll 45, we've got ourselves another wheat. And it is wheat facing and dirty and toned. But it does not look old. And it is not. 1954D, weedy number 11. Very end of roll 46. Again, the dates keep popping out. Very few wheat ears this time. It's the 1952D. Not in the best of shape, but a weedy nonetheless. That's a dozen wheat so far in the box. I'm pretty happy about that. Next roll, roll 47. We finally got ourselves some wheat ears in the back. It's not looking too old though. And I thought I said 1930 for a second. 1950 from Philly. Baker's dozen on the board. Same roll, but this one's facing us. 1946. This one's pretty toasty. He's seen better days for sure, but that's only our third 40s, so we will take it. And that's Weedy 14. Last roll luck, roll 50. And we've got some wheats facing us. I'm guessing it's not going to be too old again. It's a 40s though. That's our fourth 40s and our 15th of the box. Another state penny box in the books. Thank you again, uh, Mint Miser, for uh, swapping boxes with me. It's greatly appreciated. Again, I'll make sure to leave his link below. Um, this particular hunt was pretty stellar, man. It started off a little slow. We had our ups and downs. Um, for the 09s, we ended up with uh, eight 09s. And we did get one of each design. Here are the Wheaties that um, we did not uh, use because we already had them. We ended up with 15 Wheats, one short of the record so far. Alaska actually has a record at 16. We did end up with a whopping 1,435 grams of copper. So 
a nice haul. It's about the average of kind of what I've done so far with the lows being as little as I think 500 um, with the last one was uh, almost 1800. We did end with six book fillers, a 55, a 50, that was a 50D and a 50, a 48, a 40S, and a 44. And then we had all four of these nice stellars that I found are all upgrades to the book. Not huge upgrades uh, for the, which one? The 2005, but the other ones um, were definitely upgrades from, from the book. So it was an amazing hunt. It was nice to get the fills. Six fills. I mean, it's getting tough to, to fill holes, um, especially with the uh, nicer ones. It was really nice to get that many new wheats. Um, like I said before, I'm going to um, run through the book with you just so you can kind of see where we're at and what we're looking at. But I'm going to get all these guys plugged in first. I'll be right back. All right, you guys, here we are with uh, our status to date. So we are missing the 2021s. It's early in the year. I'm sure as we get deeper into the year, we'll find these ones in one of the boxes we get. But you'll notice that these are all beautiful. Not sure if we'll find that one, seeing that it's only from mint sets and it is a 19. But you never know. I would love to come across it, that's for sure. The next book here, still. Look at these pennies, man, they look great. This one here is... Um, the treasury seal that I found, that's why it's not quite as beautiful. But even all these 09s look beautiful. I mean, this is only eight boxes in, and look at these pennies. So essentially, besides the 2021, we've got book one and two done. You'll notice as we're getting into the 70s here, we're starting to get some of that brown. So we still have some upgrades here that we should work on. Not all these are perfect. Like this guy needs a little help. But for eight boxes to have essentially through 75, looking beautiful, not too shabby. Over here, this is the counter stamp coin that I found. Um, so that's what I'm using these extra holes for is finds that I find. I'm just kind of plugging it in there. But you'll notice even some of these 70s here, we've got some nice stunners in here, that, even with the 60s and 70s. But we basically are full all the way through till we hit wheat. And that's when we start having problems. I mean, we still certainly have upgrades down here. Um, but then we run into our holes. Still got holes in the 50s. So I got holes in the 40s even. So our total holes right now is 109 and the bulk of them, bam, are right there. Look at that. We've got a 1913. We've got a 1930. A 35. A 39. And a 40S. Besides that, book four or book one in this case actually is going to be our tough one so that's where we've got our most work to kind of give you an idea up here these are the two that have holes so we're missing 40s 50s here this is not holes that's just for freebie bonuses that i have on a couple on each book anywhere from three one to three i should say but this first or in my case last book is where we need some help. If you'd like to join the Penny Challenge, I'd love your state if I don't have it. Again, I'm gonna pop the map up, where's the, up over here. <laughs> and if the color is red, I've hunted it. Don't need it anymore. If you wanna send me a box and try to upgrade your state's total, so be it. If it's blue, someone has said that they are willing to trade with me and are either hunting for a box or it's in route or it's in possession and just has not been hunted yet. 
If it's white though, I need it. I want it. Please consider trading, selling, whatever have you. Um, I'm really, you know, open for any of the states that I do need uh, a box for. And I'm sure we can figure out a way to make it equitable for both of us. So, as always, I appreciate you guys taking the time to uh, stop by and watch my hunt and spend your time with me. Make sure to uh, give it a like, a thumbs up, I should say. Subscribe if you haven't already. And make sure to hit that bell notification so you'll know when my next state penny box is coming out. Again, I appreciate you stopping by. Have a great day. And I'll catch you on the next hunt.